So we're here at the Hotel Nolinsky in Paris. A beautiful hotel that has been renovated in the style of the 40s and I look forward to showing it to you. And I love this reception desk. Though it is quite geometrical and the volumes are quite large, it is also made in such a way that it's friendly. There is a, a receding on the side and here it's open and it creates a greater level of contact and human dimension to it. On the back wall here is an absolutely beautiful flowed sand casting brass sculpture. This has been poured onto sand freely and then cut and polished and assembled in this multi-layered quality on a beautiful soft charcoal background. And again is this contrast between a very flat grey surface and a very fluid natural organic and it is also creating a sense that though this is hard metal, it can be quite soft and fluid and organic. So here, and this is one of the motifs of the lobby, is this wonderful work. These very thick doors are covered in strips of brass that has been aged and hand rubbed to give this variety and what it brings is a wonderful sense of patina, a sense of age and the pattern which is different on different doors. So here we have the steps here and the different directions whereas on that door we have them up here, on that door they're all straight and on some of them they're a bit lighter, some are a little bit darker and it creates this really organic sense. The other thing it does is that it creates a contrast between the hard metal and the soft patina that they have. And we have here, opposite to the main entrance of the lobby itself, we have a feature with an urn, again a 1930s, 40s detail that is beautifully framed. Again, we find that motif of the tiled look, that sort of Japanese quality with a protruding clear strip. We're in the stairwell and each floor has a door and a little entry section which has a different color. And so here we're bringing some of these colors are almost psychedelic, they're quite strong and bringing us into the 60s and the mid-century. I wanted to talk about the stairwell is obviously a great feature in this hotel. It has all been hand painted and it looks like a mixture between a grey stone and the clouds in the sky on a grey day with little touches of gold which create this absolute lift. The carpet is very much in the 1940s style with a geometric pattern, the grey, the white and the black. Interestingly enough, the bulbs that have been used are the old Edison bulbs with this really warm coloured light. And that contrasts again with the grey and references back to the little spots of gold. And you almost get the impression that the light, the edges of white on the clouds are coming through the window. So there is this almost surreal quality in terms of the light that comes from outside and the light that seems to come through the clouds. And it's interesting how the light above there irradiates almost like a sun on the clouds.
This is one of the suites of the Nolinsky Hotel. It's the 30s, the late 20s and 30s. And even the pattern on the door in each corner is a pattern that comes straight out of and it has almost that jazzy quality of the period. So here, and this is a wonderful touch, we have the frame around the TV, but then we have a frame at an angle. So breaking the squareness and bringing again that very lively and jazzy quality of the 30s and 40s. Here the console is in a stone look-alike, beautiful table lamp with this wonderful grey-blue and even the sound system has a vintage quality, keeping everything together. So these chairs, which came out of late 40s and 50s, the mid-century style, every detail here looks just perfect and so well done. So we have the dark charcoal black of the framework with the brass. And here we have a transition going from black to gray, creating a softening effect. A beautiful transition. And the curtains, a gray velvet with these color stripes at the bottom. A little sofa with again a lacquered square partly open inviting you to come and sit and be comfortable very tastefully done again all the beautiful lines a stepped 1940s molding and even the side of the mirror door for the bathroom is black creating a contrast with this very soft gray and here Again, some modern elements that are inspired from the 40s with a beautiful texture. We'll find in this hotel a lot of details that are to do with uh, polished metals and brass and patinas, different patinas on metals. And that is also very much an influence from the Japanese decorative arts who excel at doing beautiful patinas as they have a long, long and old tradition of fine metal work. So here we have a woven leather gray bed head. The cushions, again, the pillows with a beautiful gray trim and white matching exactly the wall paneling that we see beautiful bed and stool done here a little bit quirky with a slightly 50s qualities it's a biscuit shaped um, with a beautiful contrast piping in black to go with a speckled off-white and black and the iron work is mirroring the shape beautiful tiling detail very soft very 1940s and interestingly enough with very fine grout lines that are black to highlight and to contrast a beautiful play of two different shades of gray and again the burnished the brass the brass handles and knobs and taps that have been gently wire brushed to create a matte finish. The vanity, a beautiful fine grey marble with shallow basins, beautifully detailed here again, the black, the white, the gold. All of this detailing works so well together, even with this lovely little dish here so the base of the vanity has been constructed from brass with a glass shelf and even the slippers are a beautiful gray
And this is where the magic begins. We are in a dark black mirror reflection with a starry sky above. Again, black, gray and white. Very wide, comfortable looking treatment massage beds. And here, very subtle, the vanities, the candle, everything has this, hard not to say it, zen-like quality. And it's all done for allowing people to totally relax and disconnect from the busy outer world. And it's interesting how this black mirror, first of all, opens up the space into an almost feeling of infinity. And it is also a dark space and it's actually similar to when one closes one's eyes to relax, you see black and you see little lights. And so this is such a wonderful, a wonderful space to inspire relaxation, to inspire going within and recharging one's batteries. And I love how this starry sky goes to infinity. Just like when the mind relaxes and expands. I want to stay here forever. Well, almost. And here is more magic. A Japanese inspired backlit painting with again a black mirror as a ceiling to reflect and open up but at the same time not intrude. Wonderfully relaxing couch that is upholstered in very comfortable materials and the shelves and the lights are almost like a pierced shell effect and what it creates is this beautiful mottled speckled light again playing with the colors of medium gray off-white and soft grays so here we have some comfortable classic Louis XIV style armchairs and I can see the steps into the water and from this view here you really get this feeling of length and I cannot resist but touch Through these thick curtains, I walk into a private lounge area, a beautiful place to relax that also in the evening serves food. So it is like a very intimate small bar. Beautiful one sconces, again, working with an antique brass that has a woven basket quality. And the wall has been treated again with a hand-painted finish that has both some organic elements, some quirky elements, going all the way to the ceiling, which has been silver-leafed in silver. So the carpet is also very much in the style of the modern painters of the 30s, of the 40s, um, with this beautiful speckled and the, the motif of the colors here is the gray going into soft blues, teals, silver, and little touches of gold. The armchairs have this mid-century quality with very rounded backs for comfort. There is a big book library with again, a lot of the artists of the time and here is an interesting repeating that round sofa 
a double-sided sofa, and at the end, the fireplace, black marble, hand-beaten brass, and again, an image that invites relaxation as well as following in the color scheme. And again, all these touches are a bit quirky, very relaxing, and so well integrated, including a beautiful candle display. And the windows have been slightly frosted so that there is a filtering of the light coming through the bamboo, again, with that Japanese quality of serenity, of harmony, as well as spiced up with a bit of the jazz of the 30s and 40s in the design.